questions on the win. Thank you. If you could please uh, start off the press conference by uh, giving us your assessment of today's game. Well, I mean, all the credit goes to my players. I mean, for them to uh, come out and execute a game plan on a, on a quick turnaround against uh, you know, a team that's really, really good on the offensive end and the defensive end, and for our guys to understand what we wanted to kind of do, which was a little bit different than what we had done uh, the previous two games. And for our guys on a quick turnaround to, uh, to execute that game plan at the level they did, uh, to hold a team like that to 35% shooting, to, to out-rebound them by 13, uh, it's just, like I said, it's good coaches have really good players, and I'm, I'm fortunate that I have some really good players. Andre Hickel, from one of Skyline Sports, as well as the Big Sky Conference. Northern Arizona did everything to take the ball out of your hands in the first round. But then you score 13 points in the first 10 minutes tonight, and you're off and running. What's your mindset coming in the game, and how were you able to get off to such a hot start? Honestly, it's just, just the flow of the game and whatever the defense gives me. It was just a great team effort from us tonight. Coach, uh, like Coach said, it was a great game plan by him, and we just followed it, and whatever happens, happens out there. So, And probably ought to add to that, you know, Dre was probably the, the best move he made, probably the best move as a coaching staff we made is allow Dre to be the coach yesterday. And Dre was in bed all day long, uh, sick. And so he was getting a lot of extra rest. And then Dre was able to you know, get a little bit better. And he's a gamer. And uh, you know, he understood from the last time he played. And they did a good job. Richardson did a really good job of guarding in the second game. And uh, Dre did a really good job of just not messing around with him. Instead of you know, letting him use his length and negate Dre's ability to get shots off, he just went downhill at him. And, uh, you know, really changed the game I and mean, his ability to get in the paint, create easy shots, uh, you know, really changed, uh, changed what they had to do defensively. Jordan, do you think that getting your feet games don't really cater to being able to control a game like you guys did for the duration? How hard is that and how were you guys able to do it? I mean, how were you guys able to sustain your success the entire time? You know, as, as I said yesterday, you know, we, we, we knew what our schedule was going to be and we prepared ourselves won this summer when we went to the Virgin Islands and played three games there. And we played two games there against one of the best team in Canada, Carleton University, who's beaten a number of Division I teams, and then uh, Brock University, who's really good as well. And then we went to the Pentagon there and, and won, the, uh, won the Pentagon tournament on a neutral court in South Dakota where we beat Youngstown State Southern Miss and a really good South Dakota team. And so we knew coming into the, you know, the final stretch of this run, we were going to have to finish it off, three games on the road, and then have to travel from Sacramento to Reno. Um, you know, we weren't going to make, you know, we weren't going to use that as an excuse. And, uh, you know, we were going to embrace it. But, you know, you got you to gotta win on a neutral court, which we've done thus far this year. You got to win by guarding people. And uh, these guys have, have made a, a conservative effort to really step up and guard. And uh, as you see, I mean, our three point defense was phenomenal, and our defense in general was phenomenal tonight. Beating Randy for the first time, uh, what was that like for you, coach? You know, it's just, it doesn't, as, as a head coach, you just, it's just relief. I remember as an assistant coach, you know, I would just, you thought you were winning every single game as a head coach sometimes. I mean, you can get a lot of crazy thoughts in your mind. And it's hard playing against a, a great friend and, and, a, and a mentor, you know, a guy that gave me my first opportunity at the Division One level. And, uh, you know, you never want to play against friends. You never want to beat friends. But I am glad to kind of get the monkey off my back because we were 0 for 4 against them. And uh, I'm glad we beat them at the right time. Jordan, I know you guys have uh, played Montana tough both matchups this year. Uh, what's the mentality going in the game? What do you think of the matchup with the Grizz? Um, I think we match up well. I think it's just a matter of playing our game better than they do. I mean, like he said, we just got to guard. Every game comes down to playing defense. And if we, can, if we can guard them, if we can stop them inside and make some shots, it should be a really good game.